Hey guys, it's Stephanie from Janku, and today I'm going to show you how to take text and make it have a nice gradient effect. So it doesn't just give a gradient on each letter, but it gives it throughout the whole word. So we're going to start out with, I'm actually going to start out with Google Drawings. This just makes it easy because I don't have the font that I want in Inkscape, and I didn't want to go through the trouble of uploading the font. So I'm just going to start off here. I'm going to create a text box. And you can pretty much, as long as you get the font as an SVG, you can upload it to Inkscape. So you can use any software for this. But today I'm going to use Google Drawings. It's free. And as long as you have a Google account, you should be able to use it. So today I'm going to work with Plentiform and this is actually a new open source project that allows you to do web forms um, but what we wanted to do here is we want to make this a little larger and the font that's used for this brand is Lato so I'm going to select that so I'm just going to make this fit a little better here so I don't have all this space by clicking on the background and dragging to fit this word. All right, now once I've done that, I'm going to download as a scalable vector graphics file, an SVG. And as you can see, it's an untitled drawing that should have saved on my desktop. So what I'll do is I have Inkscape opened and I'm going to go to File and I'm going to open and it doesn't look like it's saved there so let me just take a moment I'm going to drag the file onto the desktop and let's go to file open and we're going to open that untitled drawing alright so here is the uh, font and Inkscape is not going to recognize this because like I said the fonts not loaded into Inkscape so what I'm going to do is I'm, I'm just gonna make sure this is an object and if you select this edit paths by node tool um, you can just click on the word and it'll outline all of the different nodes to show you that this is an object all right let's start with the gradient we're going to go over to the fill and stroke window we're going to select fill and then we're going to go over to this third option so there's no paint there's flat color and there's the linear gradient we're going to select that and if you can notice it's already giving us a gradient but let's say that we want particular colors so i'm just going to go to the website i'm going to actually just pull these colors right off the website so what I'm going to do with my Mac, I'm going to hit Command, Control, Shift, and 4. And we're just going to hover over here and select. And that snapped a little picture. I'm going to go back to the Inkscape window. I'm going to, actually, I'm just going to use this Select and Transform tool. And I'm going to paste. And we should get a very blurry image of the logo. That's okay, we're just pulling colors off it. So let's go back here. So I'm going to select this back with the node tool. And as you can see, we have the gradient selected, but we want to edit these gradients, this gradient, because we want to put different colors in the place of the black to the gray to the white. So I'm going to select this, uh, it's edit gradient button. And we're going to, if you notice, there's three colors, so we want to make it multicolored. We want three different colors. At the moment, I can only update two colors because there's only two nodes. But let's go over to Insert New Stop. And if you notice, it actually just automatically added a new stop right in the middle of the word, which is perfect. That's what we want. So let's start off with the first. I'm going to select the node, go over to the fill and stroke window and select the pick colors from image tool. 
And the first color I'm going to pick is this, this nice pink. So I'm going to, just going to select right here. All right, the next color I want, I want to select the purple. And I'm going to have that gradient in the middle of the word. I'm going to go back to the eyedropper, select the purple, and there you go. You can see it's already changing from that magenta to purple. All right, let's do the last one. So let's select the last node, go over to the eyedropper tool, and select this orange. And if you take a look, we got the logo done just the way we want it and the gradient that we want. Now if you want to shift the gradient to have um, maybe a little different, have a different effect, let's go back into this edit gradient button. And this line here, you can actually move. So if you want more of the orange, you can pull it back you'll notice that it's scaled back on the magenta pink purple and it's given a lot of room for the orange and you can just kind of play around with that you can even adjust this middle node and change where you want the purple to show up so after you're done just go and save it as an SVG or export it as a PNG and you should be all set so if you've liked this tutorial, let me know. If you have any questions, comment below. Uh, I'd love to answer your questions or hear any other ways you have of creating this effect. Thank you so much and have a great day.